Hello everybody, for this tutorial we're going to be making an elastic harness and collar. You're going to need some elastic, some metal rings, and I like to use this one that opens and closes that I got. I'm not entirely sure where I got it from actually, but it's the one I like to use. I like to use it because I can change a charm on it. I happen to have this Fleur de Lis charm, but you can use whatever you would like. You're also going to need some scissors and some thread. My thread just happens to be white because it matches my elastic better. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take our metal rings and we're going to make sure they're closed. We're going to fold over the raw edge of the elastic. And then slip it through the middle ring so it folds back on itself. Hiding the raw edge like this prevents it from fraying, and also I think it gives it a little more stretch. Just gonna tighten that up a little bit more so I'm not using as much elastic. And then we're gonna sew right along there. Next we're going to measure around where we want it to be, since this is going to be a garter for me, I'm using my upper thighs. Just going to push it through the metal ring, kind of like we did before. I'm going to measure up about an inch away, I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm going to cut along right there. And same thing as before, we're going to fold over the raw edge. Make mine a little tighter. Slip it through the metal ring and back over on itself. And then we're going to sew it again. Now I'm going to open it up. Just put my charm on it, adjust it so that the elastic covers the openings and the hinge, and then just slip it on. Next we're going to work on the collar. For this I chose the D-ring, and we're just going to fold over the raw edge like usual, fold it under, and I have this little frayed thing here, and we're just going to trim that. Next we're going to measure it around my neck. I want it to be a little loose so that I can pull it over my face, but I still want it to be tight enough that it won't, I don't know, sag off of me. So I'm going to measure it out and cut it again. And of course the same thing as before, folding over the raw edge. And sewing it. And there you go. I like mine at an angle. It gives it. I think it gives it a little more stretch. Well, that's how you make a collar and a garter out of elastic. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.